Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> it's a late night start to the vlog. I'm sorry, but I came up <laughs> with a very wild concept of a video because if you know me, you know <laughs> that I don't make decisions of my own. <laughs> That sounds weird, but basically every book I pick up, every movie I watch, every TV show I watch has never fully been my idea. It's always, you know, because someone recommended it, someone talked about it, or I saw a trailer somewhere randomly. I never just go like, oh, this looks interesting, let me watch it without, like, let me read it without knowing anything about it. That is a fun fact about me. So another fun fact about me is that I love scrolling through my library ebook app. I don't know what it is that I love scrolling through it and just seeing the different books they have and like the different categories they have made up. But just more than half of the books on there I've never heard of, which makes sense because you can't hear of every book ever. So I thought it would be fun to combine my fear of the unknown with my love for scrolling through my library book app and pick books that I've never heard of before to read in this video vlog. And <laughs> I'm only reading three books in this video, but I like having choice. So I picked five books at, before filming to, you know, so I still can decide in the moment what I want to read the most, you know? So I picked five books that just by scrolling through the app, the, first of all, the cover intrigued me. And then when I read the synopsis, it also intrigued me. So the first book that I picked is Mother Thing by Ainsley Hogart. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Then I came across Kiss of the Spider Woman by Manuel Puig. Again, hope I pronounced that correctly. Then I came across The Mermaid of Black Conch by Monique Wafi. <laughs> I'm pronouncing everything wrong. I apologize. Then I came across Nothing Special by Nicole Flattery. And lastly, I came across your driver was waiting by Puya Guns. If you follow me, you know which of these books I read, but let's just get into the vlog. Hi, welcome to the first book of the vlog. So last night I read the first chapter of Mother Thing and Kiss of the Spider Woman to decide which one I wanted to start first and the first chapter of Kiss of the Spider Woman completely hooked me so I started with that one. Let me read you the synopsis. Valentin and Molina seemingly share a little audit on a cell in a queer classic ahead of its time. Sometimes they talk all night long in the still darkness of their Buenos Aires prison cell. Molina rewaves the glittering and fragile stories of the film he loves and the cynical Valentin listens. Valentin believes in the just cause that makes all suffering bearable. Molina believes in the magic of love and that makes all else endurable. Though they seemingly share little other than a cell, the two form a bond so intimate and a relationship so profoundly affecting that only the other could understand. That's the synopsis, it's really short. And something that I didn't realize while picking it for this vlog, I guess, is that it's a classic, which I should have known from like the cover. Because, you know, it has like that vintage thing, which usually is reserved for classics. I, I didn't, I didn't know. So, <laughs> that shows just how little I know it's with. I, I literally have never heard of it, which is strange because after kind of like starting it and looking into it a little bit, I, I've seen that it's a movie and a play as well. Which, that makes sense because it's within in kind of like a play style where it is just dialogue, at least so far. But th those are all facts I did not know. And yeah, I am two chapters in. So <laughs> I read two chapters because I started this really late. I don't know why this was a late night ID and I'm really, really liking it so far, which I totally wasn't expecting because again, the whole concept of this video is to read books that I've never heard of and I just went off cover and synopsis alone, basically. But I'm really liking it so far in my comic books. And like I said, it's written just dialogue. So in the beginning, it, was, it took me a little bit to figure out who was talking because it doesn't say like this person's talking, just like a dash and then the dialogue and another dash and then that shows that it switches between characters so it takes a little bit to figure out who's who but I really like it I have laughed loud a couple of times it's so funny the dialogue between these two characters is great and I am generally just really enthralled by them so far we don't know a lot about them but I just you do already have a great sense of that character even though you don't know a lot about them yet so I really like that and then I have in the first two chapters Molina has 
retold one movie. They basically made an agreement for him to come up with a new movie by the next night. And that movie, that story as well, really just like engaged me. I don't know if that's an actual movie or just something that the author made up, <laughs> but I was completely just like captivated by that story. And I just, I really, really, <laughs> I'm loving it so far. Like I said, I'm only two chapters in, so things could drastically change later on. But I'll meet you once I finished it, and hopefully, this feeling of love will continue for me. <laughs> Hi, I just finished Kiss of the Spider Woman. And when I say just, it's a little bit ago, but um, I did some Googling and reading up on the book and like reading other people's reviews because I feel like I just, I needed to understand more than just what was in the book. So that's what I did. And like, of course, this is kind of like a classic. It's from the 70s. Um, so that's something I do often with classics. But I finished it and I gave it four stars in the end. And I have a very difficult time explaining my thoughts on this book, so bear with me. So in the introduction of this book, I already read the chapter and I talked to you about my feelings in the chapter and what I was feeling at that moment in time. And I feel like none of that changed. Like, I am so shocked by how readily invested I was in these characters throughout this entire book. Because it's mainly dialogue, it's not just dialogue, um, there are some other elements in here, but it's mostly dialogue. And it takes a bit to figure out who's talking because that's not indicated in the beginning but like once you get the hell of it like you get so invested in these characters so quickly and it's weird how this book does that but i really enjoyed seeing the characters and seeing their friendship slash relationship progress throughout the book i do think that when it comes to like the actual romantic part of this book that could have been developed a bit more and i really loved seeing that dynamic together as well these two characters i I laughed out loud so many times during this book. Also, not expected. I chuckled quite a few times. I tried the book. Molina's also constantly recounting movies to Valentin as a way to kind of like get like peace and like distract themselves from like you know the misery of being in a cell. And I really love those elements in it. There's six movies or so discussed in the actual novel, and I looked it up. And some of them are based on actually existing movies. None of them are like an exact recounting of a movie. I really like the element in it, especially because these movies somehow were related to what was going on in these characters' eternal struggle. Sometimes it seems a bit far-fetched, like if, if I would just give you like a synopsis of the movie, you would just be like, huh, how does that fit in? But when you go and like the whole explanation on how it is told and everything you can see like little connections to what is actually happening with these people the only reason why i ended up talking to sarah is in the second half this becomes something different a little bit i won't spoil anything but something happens like a reveal was made to us and it kind of changes the structure of the story in a way and it changes the way you look at things and it just made for some confusing parts in my book and then throughout the book there's also these footnotes around like this psychology i guess of homosexuality and i get that this was written in the 70s and things were different i get that but i also just didn't like the fact that it was included even though i get it because i felt like it took me out of the story that's it just it kept that's the most important part it put me out of the vibe of the story so yeah those are my thoughts on this book i guess they're all over the place i hope i can make something out of this and edit thing So I've just started the second book for this video, which is Your Driver is Waiting by Priya Gans. And the goal is to read this entire book today, which I don't think is going to happen. But I learned from the library is about to expire. So we're going to try this. <laughs> Let me first read you the synopsis. In this electrifyingly fierce and funny social satire, a gender-flipped reboot of the iconic 1970s film Taxi Driver, a white chair driver is barely holding it together on the hunt for love, dignity, and a financial security until she decides she's done waiting. Damani is tired. Her father just died on the job at a fast food joint, and now she lives paycheck to paycheck in a basement, caring for her mom and driving for an app that is constantly cutting her take. The city is roiling in protests. Every Everybody's in solidarity with somebody, but while she keeps hearing that they're fighting for change on behalf of people like her, she literally can't afford to pay attention. Then she gives a ride to Jolene, five stars 
obviously. Jolene seems like she could be the perfect girlfriend, attentive, attractive, and ally, and their chemistry is off the charts. Jolene's done the reading, she goes through every protest, and she says all the right things. So maybe the money can look past the one thing that's holding her back. She's never dated anyone with money before, not to mention a white girl with money. But just as their romance intensifies and the money finally lets her car down, Jolene does something unforgivable, setting off an explosive chain of events. So that's the synopsis. I didn't know that it was a taxi driver reimagining, which that's not gonna play into my thoughts of this book at all because I have never seen taxi driver. I am sorry. I know that's a classic. Never seen it. I didn't know that. Also, what I didn't know is that this is a 2023 release. So no wonder I've never heard of it. Like it just came out in February. But this is very odd. I read the first like 50 pages or so, which is almost 20 chapters. This is told in like very short chapters, which is making it very easy to read and it's flying by and it feels very addictive because you just are constantly like flipping to the next chapter, which I am really liking. It is also very oddly written so far, but I feel like nothing really has happened yet. But you do kind of already have the sense of her life basically. I have only seen like a day, which shocked me when at the end of a chapter they were like, oh, this is all I did in a day. And I was like, what? <laughs> this, how did this take place over one day? Um, and I guess that's supposed to like, I don't know, signify how her life is moving. We haven't met Jolene yet though, so there we go. But we have seen like sprinklings of like protests happening everywhere. I will update you once I've actually finished it. Hi, how are you doing? I am here to update the vlog because I finished Your Driver is Waiting. I didn't finish it in one day. Like I tried, it took me three days, but I still finished it. And I ended up giving it two stars. Yes, I know, I know. I also had hopes for it because it sounded too interesting. And the beginning was very promising. But I just, I didn't, it didn't end up working for me, basically. is my issue. I just, I didn't really like the main character. I thought she was, like, very, like, self-obsessed. And just, like, edge lordy And I didn't really like reading from her perspective. I thought not a whole lot happened in the book of... Like the things that do happen in the book completely hinge on this romance that is one extremely toxic and two like these women only have known each other for less than a week so i find it very hard to kind of like i don't know get invested in that and then especially because so much of like like i said like the actual plot of this which isn't a lot hinges on things that happen within that and it's hard to talk about that without using any spoilers it, just everything just falls flat because it's so hard to like understand like the motivations behind everything or, like the hurt that certain events cause because i'm just like you've known this person for like two days of course this is gonna happen like why are you so shocked this also is uh, officially as a satire and i didn't really think there was if any bit in this at all this does have great social commentary i do feel like when it comes to i guess activism and stuff like that that's discussed in here it does feel a little bit surface level at times but overall i do think a lot of interesting topics were discussed in this i overall i liked what i did on that front but i just i wanted more of it didn't work for me i apologize i have <laughs> since um seeing like on my goodreads while i was updating it i saw that quite a lot of people i follow on goodreads have this added as like a one to read so it probably like showed up on my feed at one point but i legitimately don't remember it ever doing so so i think it still counts for the video hi i am here to talk about the last book be reading for this reading vlog. I already am one chapter in, but let's just talk about nothing special by Nicole Flattery. This is much shorter than I was expecting. I opened the ebook on my library app and it's a hundred pages in that format and on Goodreads it says it's 240 pages. But that isn't a lot. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to get through this book pretty Quickly and actually from reading the synopsis before making this video on selecting the books I was going to read, this synopsis sounded the most interesting to me. So let's read it together. 
In the late 1960s, pop artist Andy Warhol set out to make an unconventional novel by following a cast of his most famous characters around New York, recording their conversations with his tape recorder. The 24 one-hour tapes were transcribed by four women, the Velvet Underground drummer Maureen Tucker, a Bernard student Susan Pyle, and two young women. In nothing special, Nicole Valerie imagines the lives of those high school students, precocious and wise beyond their years, but still only teenagers, living with their mothers but working all day in a surreal and increasingly dangerous world of Andy Warhol's factory and learning to shape and reshape their identities as they navigate between their low-paid, grueling job and their lives at home in a time of social change for girls and women in America. So that synopsis, I don't know if you listen to me, but I'm one chapter in, this is divided into really long chapters. It's gonna be great. But the first chapter is set in 2010 and talks about our main character, I presume, and her relationship with her mother, who at the end of the first chapter dies. And I don't know how to feel about this book. I like the writing and I am feeling like a connection with the main character. But we have had like one small reference of Andy Warhol. And that's the only thing that kind of like hints at the actual plot of this book. So I'm hoping that's kind of like a sort of prologue to whatever's gonna happen next. Who knows? So ending this vlog on a sour note, I apologize, but I decided to do the NF Nothing special 68 pages in, which is quite a way through the book <laughs> considering my copy of the I my library like ebook copy said it had 182 pages i believe so the fact that i read 68 is like a really big amount and i just i wasn't fighting with it i was dragging my feet to read this book this is the reason why this video is late because i started reading this in time but i didn't finish it in time because i just i kept procrastinating on reading it because i just i was not enjoying it i thought the main character was just like incredibly insufferable she is the most not like other girls character i have ever read that says a lot because i've read a lot of not like other girls protagonists on top of that she also has this like this superiority complex that i just didn't vibe with and just like the blatant misogyny throughout this entire book coming from female characters at least the entire book the part that i read it just disgusted me so i was not having a great time reading it and on top of that like i said in the intro for this book it is like divided in like sections where and it jumps a bit across the timeline and at the point where i'm at everything still it just i'm struggling to connect the different parts and then also connect those parts to what i know from the synopsis i had such a difficult time with that and i constantly kept thinking what's the point of this book and i feel like with how far in i got i should have at least gotten some semblance of it and i also just feel like nothing has happened yet really so i just i decided to give up all of those reasons and also because i want to get this video out on time but i felt terrible because even though i am wanting to dnf more i really that's something i need to get over i feel bad having a dnf in a vlog that today's reading vlog i read two books dnf to one i have a four a two and a dnf which doesn't sound like a success but i'm still seeing this vlog as a success because i feel like what i picked was mostly more on like the literary side of things and even though i didn't enjoy the other books that i read i feel like i am kind of like getting over my fear of literary fiction because of this video also the two books that i didn't read in this video but i did kind of like pick for this i am still hoping to get to at some point because they do still seem really interesting to me i have since starting this video heard more things about mother thing so at least i'm hoping that's gonna be somewhere on my radar and i don't completely forget about it that was today's video very late i apologize but i hope you still enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you next time